love it. I'm becoming the young, beautiful, sophisticated woman that I was born to be. So you guys, like I said, thank you for sticking through my journey with me. You're basically seeing how I'm growing up. Literally, I turned 24 this year. mad good and it did till this day y'all i'm thinking about the sexual 
experiences I had at a young age, and it's just like, Lord, that feeling, that feeling, you can't get it back. You can't. So, um, keep in mind that Pi's family, they are into masonry and and stuff like that, right? Let's just say that they're into masonry. And one day, what did I call her? So Max invites me, you know, to play at her house. And like I said, um, she lived downstairs and I, my godmother lived upstairs. So I went to go play at her house all the time. Like literally like, in the same house. You get it? Y'all get it. So, um, one day her family, um, Max's grandparents, they were having a party and this party, they did not allow any kids. Keep in mind, this is just going over my head. As a child, it's going over my head. So they're having a party, a masonry party, masonry party, and the kids are not allowed. So Max is up at my house, and we're chilling, and we're hanging out. Finally, her family is done with the party, and they're like, yo, we have food. You guys want some food? And me and Max are like, yeah, we want some food. So we go down to this party, right? Like I said, it's not a party anymore. Nobody is really in there. People are leaving out. And when I said that they they live downstairs, they live downstairs. They had the whole downstairs plus the basement. I didn't tell you this, but they, they had the downstairs plus the basement. So when we're going downstairs, I don't see uh, anything resembling a party. So she's like, no, we have to go downstairs. I never been downstairs. Never, never, never been in the basement. So I'm like, okay. I go downstairs and, you know, I'm basically following my friend Max. I'm basically following her because she, she knows the roots. So I get, I get to the basement and it's all red. Just pitch red, 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 red everywhere. Like there was a light bulb, a red light bulb inside. So, you know, it's making the whole room red. So that's all I see. I see a red, just red everywhere, red. And I see a bunch of chairs, you know, I'm really not thinking nothing of it, but come to find out they had just did a ritual. They had just did their ceremony. And you invite me to come eat your food, but it's going my, it's going over my head as a kid. It's just going over my head. I don't know anything about anything. So it's going over my head. They asked me if I want some food and I, I take some food and Max gets her food and she's eating it. And I go back upstairs to my family and I'm just like, basically like, Hey guys, I got some food. Like I'm basically like excited, but like I really wasn't hungry. But I go upstairs to my godmother and I'm like, hey, like I got some food. Mind you, my godmother and her mother, they knew better than I did. They damn sure did. They damn sure did. So they took that food, they threw it out right in front of me. As soon as I placed it on the table, my godmother's mother, she looked at me and then she's like, Basically, like, you see that food? You see what I just did with it? 
I really don't want to say too much. I don't want people connecting the dots too much. You feel me? So yeah, let me not say too much about that situation. But yeah, we went to school together and we came back from school and I'm at my godmother's house because Friday is a weekend. I'm at my godmother's house Friday through Sunday. I'm at my godmother's house. So I'm at my godmother's house and she comes upstairs because we live in the same house, basically. She lives downstairs. I live upstairs. So she comes upstairs and she's just like, hey, like, let's go hang out. Let's go hang out at, like, my house, basically, downstairs. Let's go downstairs. So she's like, let's go downstairs. I'm like, okay, let's go play. Let's go play. Like, me being just young and just colorful, yeah, I'm like, let's go play. So we go downstairs. And she's like, oh, let's go in the bedroom. Like, I want to show you something in the bedroom. Me not thinking, I, and mind you, I've never been in her bedroom. I've never been in her basement. I've never been in her bedroom. I've always stayed near the computer in the living room. Like, I've never went in her bedroom. Like, So she's like, oh, I want to show you something in my bedroom. Like, come in my bedroom. So I'm just like, okay, let's go in your bedroom. We go in her bedroom, and I see the bed, and I see this big-ass TV. Like, honestly, like, it was bigger than my TV in my room, so I was fascinated about that damn TV. So I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. She's like, yeah, this is where I sleep with my mom. Like, yeah, 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 big shit, big shit, big things, big things. You feel me? Big things. So I'm like, oh, my God, like, oh, my God, it's so cool. And she's picking up the remote, and she's about to play something on the TV. I'm thinking she's about to play music, but she puts on porn. This is when we were in sixth grade, y'all. Her mentality was too grown for me. Looking back at it, no, it felt like I was seduced. It felt like she lured me into that room to take my soul. That's how it felt. Like, I don't know. Like, it... I really don't know. Like, her mentality was too grown for that age. Like, how do you tell somebody, oh, yeah, come in my bedroom? Basically, because nobody was home. My my godmother was supposed to be watching her. My godmother was supposed to be watching her, so there was nobody home watching her. She lowered me, she lured me into her bedroom, and now she's putting on porn. And we were in sixth grade. Looking back at it, her mentality was grown. It was different. Like, how? 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 You know? So it was just like, it got me thinking earlier, like, what did she really go through as a child? Or what is she being taught or told at home? Because, like, bro, that don't make no sense. It really didn't make no sense. She knew how to turn it on on the TV. Like, till this day, I don't even know how to get porn on TV. I know, like, there's that little bunny, you know, channel that you're not supposed to go on, but, yeah, maybe I'm just clueless, maybe, I don't know, but until this day, it's just like, no, she, she was too grown, she was too grown, so, um, I'm jumping on, on top of her bed, I don't know, like, I don't know why the hell I was jumping on her bed, but her bed was jumpable, like, every single time I was jumping on her bed, like, it just felt like I was going higher. Like, it was one of those beds that would, like, push you up higher. It was it was a really nice bed. It was a really nice bed. So, I'm jumping on top of her bed. I noticed that she turned porn on. So, I just stop and I look at it and I'm like, mind you, I'm not new to a girl going down on me. I'm not. There were some friends that I grew up with that were, you know, curious and they just took their curiosity yeah. and they just took their curiosity out on me like they just experienced with me but when she turned that on like i i haven't seen porn yet that's the first time i seen porn that's the first time i seen porn so when she turned it on it was lesbian porn i'm looking at it like like it was like i'm looking at it like like it was an angel like I ne like it was something I was intrigued about, honestly. Like honestly, I was intrigued about it. So I'm looking intrigued, and she's like, "You like it? Like you like it?" And I'm like, "She's like, have you done it before?" And I'm like, "Just like I don't know. I really 
end up knowing how I don't know why I was that type to for people for little girls to experiment on but like a lot of uh, my friends growing up they wanted to experiment with me so I I don't know so she's just asking me if I like it and if I wanted to like try it and I'm just like Knowing damn well I wanted to try it. Knowing damn well I wanted to try it. So she's like, okay, like stand up. So so I was sitting on the bed and she tells me to stand up. So I stand up and she, yeah, the bed was like pushed against the wall, right? So she gets up on the bed too and she pushes me against the wall. So I'm standing up on the bed. And she's on the bed too. She pushes me up against the wall on the bed and she kisses me. And I'm like, okay. I wasn't really feeling anything when she kissed me. I, I really wasn't feeling anything when she kissed me. But she starts going down. I'm telling you, looking back at it, she was too, she was too ready. She was too grown. We were in sixth grade elementary school. She, the way she did it was just like a grown ass man. Like that's really got me thinking. Like yo, she really probably been through some shit or probably learning some shit at home. Like it don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. So she starts going down, and I'm just looking at her like she's just going down, and I'm like, okay. She she pulls down my pants, and I'm just still looking at her. I'm like. Yes, yes, lick it, lick it. Because honestly, like y'all, I had some, I had some, I have like some paint on my motherfucking sweater. That's what I got. But nah, really, I had some really freaky, sexy, sexual experiences with girls growing up. Like, oh, even till now, I think about it. And I'm like, yo, yo, too good. It was too good. I don't know what I, y'all. I had no business. I really had no business. I had no business. But hey, if you wanted to go down on me, hey, if you like it, I love it. If you like it, I love it. So she takes off my pants and she's going down and she she licks it. She kisses it. She licks it and it feels mad good. It feels so fucking good, y'all. I'm looking at the TV. Porn is on and, and the... Like, the lesbian girls are getting it. So, I'm already feeling like, oh, fuck. And she, I look down. She's going down on me. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I was moaning. I was moaning. She's just going in on me. She's going down. She's licking it. Oh, and her tongue felt mad good. Like, her tongue, not me reminiscing, y'all, but that ass. Her tongue felt mad good. Oh, my God. It felt so so good. So I'm moaning. I'm moaning. Boom. Her mom walks in. Her mom, the dyke, she walks in and she's screaming. She's like, yo! So now, like I said, I was on the bed. I was standing up. I'm like this. I'm just getting head. And I'm like, uh, uh. So I hear, yo! I look. 
conversation. We will not talk. And it kind of does piss me off because it's like, girl, like, really? Come on. It's my best day. And, and if she thinks I'm going around telling people, I'm really not. Nobody knows this story, but I guess your family and my family now, but nobody else knows this story. Like, nobody is going to repeat it. Nobody knows. Nobody's going to know. Like, if this is what I hate about freaking people and reality. Like, they don't want to own shit. They don't really want to own shit. Who would think that, that ended there, right? No. I started dating Pride around when I was 18 and he was 22. Now, I did not know that Max was Pride's family, Pride's cousin. I did not know that. I really did not. I didn't even know nothing about Pride, right? So Pride is like, yo, um, we're about to go to my family's house. Like, I need to go pick something up. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, cool. We drive to this house, and, and he's like, oh, do you want to come in? Like, I want you to meet my pops. Like, my pops is here, and, you know, my aunt and my uncle is here, and my cousin is here. I want you to meet everybody. Just come on in. Just come on in. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Cool. I walk in the house, and I see um, Pride's father, and I'm greeting him, and I'm like, hello, nice to meet you. And I see Max, and I'm like, oh, shit, look at Max. I didn't say, oh, shit, look at Max. I was like, oh, um, look at Max. That's how I said it. I was like, oh, look at Max. And then she was like, hey, and I was like, hey. That's it. That's all we said to each other, y'all. That's all we said to each other. But looking back at it, y'all, there was a lot, there's there's a lot of shit when it comes to Pride's family. Like, I really can't pack it into this video, so let me just keep going. But notice how she said hi to me and I said hi to her. The hi that she gave me was like a, I knew you was coming, but you didn't know I was coming. And the hi that I gave her was like, I didn't even know y'all was family. Keep that in mind, y'all. Because it plays out. It plays out when I give you when I give you one story on Pride's ass and also um, the story on how Pride wanted to sacrifice me. Keep that in mind. Because literally, I said hi to the girl. The girl said hi to me. But her hi was like a, oh, hey, I knew you was coming and I was forced to say hi to you. It's not like mind y'all so she says hi to me and i say hi to her and, and that's it right i go um kiss the auntie and the uncle because like i haven't seen them in that long like like i said pride family used to live below me and i used to live on top with my godmother so i haven't seen them in that long so i'm just celebrating everybody hi hi, hi. that his cousin his female cousin seduced me when I was in middle school and now I'm you know with pride you would think it's a coincidence but I don't think so I do not think so and there's something more deeper and more sinister than what I know right now so yeah guys thank you so much for clicking and tuning into this video if you have made it all the way through you know i love and appreciate you guys like i can't do it without you make sure you you know like comment subscribe share this video if you can you know support your home girl support your sister like i don't understand how many times that i'll tell y'all that if you know like you know if it was you i would support you like, you're already tuning into the video. You might as well do that. Hit, hit, hit that. Hit that. All right, y'all. Y'all already know life is a bitch. And